Hello guys, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, bye bye. my channel how are you guys doing hope you're fine huh. on today's episode of yomi and mommy with the hashtag growing up with baby yomi we're going to be talking about random things and of course we're going to be vlogging about my mom slash yomi's grandma's birthday and everything that i got up to within the week during the week and I really did not have a lot of activities this week i really did not have a lot of things to do so i really did not vlog because i was under the weather i was a little bit under the not a little bit i was really actually under the weather but it just couldn't last for long because i'm a mother and i um you miss still needs my attention so i was just going to go to make me all rest so i'll just be there for him don't get me wrong my family are very supportive my sister my mom they come to take care of me too because they know i'm not feeling fine but sometimes i just wish i could just have a, a full week off mother who just for myself to rejuvenate and come back again the other night when i was really very broken i had to tell my mom that please she has to take over she just really has to take over for the night because i'm not sure with my present state i could be waking up at night to cater for yomi she agreed and i had to move to the next room to sleep and i slept soundly i had to put my phone on silent i didn't even want any distraction immediately i hit the bed i just took off till dawn and when I woke up, I just ran straight to Yomi to see how he was doing. And my mom said I should take my child. That she he didn't let her sleep at all. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. But the moment I just held him and cuddled him on my hot body, I was actually running temperature. I was very hot. I was broken, my bones and everything. The moment I held him and cuddled him, he slept off beautifully on my body. And it, it lasted for long, quite long. Yeah, so since then I've just been praying to go to make me alright. I've been having Qatar and I've been trying to avoid direct contact with my son because I don't want him to have this thing that I'm having. And also, um, I've been treating malaria to so malaria and typhoid. So those are the things that those are the key things that I'm sure is wrong with me. A bit are wrong with me because ever since I started taking this malaria and typhoid medicine, I think I've been better. At least it has dropped drastically from how it was really disturbing me. So yeah, so I feel like that's what was really wrong with me. I'm a bit better now. Yes. Thank you guys. I'm Tomorrow fine. is my mom's birthday and we have this very little surprise for her by this um surprise people here in Oyo called um Rainbow Surprises. I'm going to leave the hang handle tagged below. I don't know how good they are because based on my observation they are quite new but they seem very affordable so we reached out to them and then we asked them we told them what we want they actually gave us their list of how they operate and and their packages they gave us their um, price list and their packages and we picked the one that we wanted and the one that we love and they are coming tomorrow to surprise us say from say from 11 a.m to i don't know 11 a.m 12 p.m so yes i'm going to be vlogging that for you guys to see and to see if these people did well in their surprise so if you're in Ningyo, you could always use them if you want to surprise your loved ones your friends yourself your family anybody at all mm -hmm. okay i just wanted to just you guys though your is three months old and <laughs> I think the milk that we give him doesn't hold him anymore because immediately immediately you finish feeding him now he gets hungry so we feel like we need to thicken his milk a bit at least so that it can be lasting in his stomach and we talked about Nutribum. Nutribum is from six months old that's when babies can start consuming it six months old but my baby is three months old and just yesterday we started giving him Nutribum and so far he's, he's not reacting because we just started yesterday so I'll just observe him for like one week and see but as of yesterday till now he has not reacted he takes it very well he's been digesting beautifully he's been going to, he's been passing out physics beautifully he's been pooping beautifully and not like i make it as thick as how it's meant to be from six months old i try to make it very very watery i'm going to show you guys how i make it I try to make it to be very very watery so he could um suck it with his feeding bottle and easily digest it since he's still very little he's just three months old like i said so yeah so when i get into the house i'm going to let you guys see you me i don't know if he's still sleeping now because <laughs> literally you drop that boy and just don't 
to go out he will just open his eyes slowly and see if you are still there or you have left then if he see if maybe the sleep has really taken him he may just sleep with both if the sleep has not really taken him he will just start whining and you just have no choice you have no other choice than to go back and carry him so yeah so that's what we've been all about mm. tomorrow is my mom's birthday and i'm going to be vlogging about it that this is going to be the first time we're going to be seeing my mom on my channel tomorrow yes we're going to be seeing my mom tomorrow on my channel and she's when you see her wish happy birthday for me okay thank you so much she's been on and on and on about this birthday she's been telling a lot of people tomorrow is her birthday tomorrow is her birthday 17th is my birthday 17th is my birthday finally 17th is almost here not like she even has plan because we've been asking her what's the plan that you have for that day she doesn't have anything to say <laughs> she's been laughing that she does not have plan but she's inviting people how ah, well, does it work it's just funny <laughs> She's been telling people about it right now. How does it work? It's just funny. So tomorrow is her birthday and I just hope whatever little surprise that we have packaged for her tomorrow, she's going to appreciate it and it's going to put a big smile on her face. That's the plan for tomorrow. <laughs> Happy birthday to my mommy. guys so baby yomi is here oh, he's sleeping see his heart yeah, yeah, like a girl's own i can explain this is capture but it's going to be in my next vlog i don't have strength to explain this cup right now let him just wait peacefully nice you guys my nieces are here oh chuchu say hello hello mimi come and say hi come So they just got in here like about an hour ago. Is it after an hour? Maybe forty minutes ago from um their their home. They came for holiday at grandma's, right? You came to visit grandma. You came for grandma's birthday or you came to visit grandma? Yes. Which one is the yes? yes? What what are you here for? You came for holiday? For for yeah. holiday. Yes. And you also came for grandma's birthday, right? Yes. Good girl. You are so cute, Juju, Mimi. You guys are so cute. Let me see you now. Let me see you now. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so um, so I got this package from Jumia um like three days back, two days, three days back, and it wasn't what I really wanted. I didn't really check before placing that order. I just clicked on it. I didn't know it was going to be only for camera. I actually placed that. I um, actually ordered for a tripod. I paid for it. I know. I didn't have the option for pay or delivery because they said according to them. What's wrong with this madman now? Because <laughs> so this, according to them, they said I've been doing a lot of cancels like cancelling so many orders so they had to cancel my pay on delivery option and um, which i i did not really argue with them i paid i paid for the product and i got it delivered like two days ago and i opened it and realized that it was a tripod meant for just cameras not phone like i was literally looking for how to fix my phone on it there was no way i could until i read through it and i realized that it was just for camera and knowing that i do not have a camera currently i had to um ask for it to be returned and so i submitted the email explaining it to them and they agreed and they've sent their agents to pick it up and now i am at liberty to um order for the one that i want and i already saw the kind that i want which could be used for multi-purpose yeah for you could use it for phone and you could also use it for camera so yes i'm going to go for that one and some other stuff i'm going to order to to complete my money that i used in buying this one because the other one was quite pricey it was it wasn't as pricey as for a good product though but to cover up my money this one that i'm going for is a bit lesser than the one that i went for before so i have to pick up other things too to make up the amounts that i spent on the other one 
and they already said they were going to credit my money into my Jumia wallet which I could transfer into my real account if I want to but I'll just let it stay there so when I'm making the purchase I'll just pay through my Jumia wallet instead yes yeah, so that's going to be that I'm going to show you guys what I got before it was actually it was it it's really solid it's it, it's authentic for the price i think i got for like 10k or so including the delivery fee and everything down from lagos to uyo it was around 12,000 naira, 13k or so and then they gave me a 1000 naira off discount for the ajumia what 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 are they even celebrating they said that they're celebrating so they took out 1000 naira from my money so everything was 12,000 naira. yeah so now I'm going to be credited with 12,000 naira into my Jumia wallet and I think that's what I really like about Jumia. If you do not like what you got, you can always return it and that's that's really a very nice one. Because of that, they're going to keep having customers. So that's really very good. They should keep it up. I like it. So that's about it. I'm carrying your meal. I just had my shower and I came to meet this boy. He refused to sleep. See his chubby cheeks. Like, okay, let me explain this cap that he's wearing. When I was pregnant for him, I really thought I was going to have a girl. Every time I go for a scan, he, he doesn't like showing his sex. He doesn't like opening his legs so that we could detect his sex. In my mind, I was like, well, I'm already far gone and I've not even got anything for myself. I feel like I'm going to have a girl, so why not mix buy things? Let me just buy girl things and guy things and then unisex. So, so those are that's how I mix both things and... The caps that I got for him, the unisex cap and the male caps that I got are no longer his feet. And this is like a, a, a free size because it has rope. You can see down, see the rope that you can use to tie it. So, and it's feminine, but I really do not mind because it's not going out. It's just in at home and the weather is very cold. Instead of exposing him to the weather, I would rather cover him up in this feminine cap. Yeah. So that's about it. So guys, please, if you're here to subscribe to my channel, why don't you just hit the subscribe button down below? Not like they're going to charge you for anything. It's just to hit it and then click on the bell notification so you always get notified whenever I post a video. <laughs> Choo -choo. Say, please subscribe to my auntie's channel. Please, please subscribe to my auntie's channel. Oh, say it again. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. To my auntie's, my auntie's channel. channel. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, so please, isn't she cute? No. Oh, grandma. Oh. Uh huh. Bye 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 bye. Ah ah. Guys, this is how old she I make his um no tree bomb. Leave leave Auntie's baby alone. Mimi say you should leave Auntie's baby. Mimi she should, should leave Auntie's baby. Leave Auntie's baby. Oh. Your nose is dirty. So this is how watch you I make his no tree. This is how watch you I make it. This is how watery I make it no tree, but not like I make it very thick. You know. I make it this watery because I understand that he's a baby. He's three months old and he needs digestion. So, and so far he's been digesting very well. And it's been, in fact, as I'm feeding him this thing, he had to pause to scatter my, to scatter his diaper with poop. poop. So he eats, he eats it well. He poops and he digests beautifully too. You just make it a bit thickened. Just make his milk a bit thickened so at least it will hold him in the stomach because the milk alone was no longer holding him up. So your milk will finish eating now and in the next two minutes he's hungry again and crying. The next five minutes he's like, ah no. You can finish this is two seventy five. You can finish twice of this under one hour. You can imagine that. So tick tick tick. Old man has been disturbing me since morning. Sleep. He doesn't want to sleep. He wants to sleep on people's body. Oh yeah, turn. I've put him on somebody's back. At least his size, because my waist is too wide for him to 
expand his legs. So let him stay here. Come, let me see his face. See your face. Eh? Hopefully you will sleep here without disturbing anybody. I don't have time to be carrying you on my body. So just stay here and enjoy yourself. Yeah? I love you. I gave you your size. <laughs> so sleep here. A few minutes later. He's smiling. <laughs> You're smiling. <laughs> Old man. Yeah, my son is really enjoying this is new food with this new tree bun. Like the way he sucks itself, you know that eye is on cloud nine. He just placed one hand on his head and just be enjoying it. The way he enjoys it there. Uh, hmm. I'm just so glad I introduced this food right on time for him and the way I make it is actually the best way because for now to avoid indigestion and knowing that his digestive system are not so active or not as um, strong have <laughs> what's the word is not as effective as an adult on or at least a baby from six months on I, I make it I tend to make I always make it watery so at least it's a bit thicker than his, his normal milk at least it's not milk alone because milk alone doesn't stay in that very stomach so I make it a bit thick a bit a bit thick but still very watery so you could sip it you could suck it with freeze <laughs> feeder sorry and then he still bobs normally immediately after eating and he still poops normally too so I feel like it's it's my best choice I really like the fact that I introduced this meal to him and I know that as time goes on, I would make it thicker for him. Yes, as time goes on, according to his mom, I'll make it thicker for him. I'd also introduce pap, but not now. Until I get a good pap plug, guinea corn, a good guinea corn plug, someone that is very neat that I know that okay, this would always be where I would buy from. Because I think I would be buying something that I'll just. It seems some particles inside pap or uh, give me corn or you know so that's about it sure.